Hey, uh, I'm Rupert and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my all-time favourite dishes. This is spaghetti bolognese. Okay, you will need olive or vegetable oil, some salt and pepper to season, a spoonful of tomato puree, a can of chopped tomatoes, some Italian seasoning, half a packet of spaghetti, half or a whole pack of mint, about 500 grams for a whole pack, some cheese, half an onion and five mushrooms. Utensils wise, you will need to use a sieve, a pot for the pasta, a frying pan for the rest of the ingredients, a grater if you didn't get grated cheese already, can opener for the tomatoes, sharp knife for cutting, wooden spoon for stirring and a chopping board. Now make sure you give your hands a thorough clean. For about 20 seconds. First off, you chop the onion into small pieces. Using a knife, chop the slices one way and then the other. I find chopping an onion is quite difficult, so all the big pieces that are left at the end, I chop again so they're in small, smaller pieces. Slicing mushrooms. Pour some vegetable or olive oil into the frying pan and then rotate the frying pan so the oil covers the entire bottom. You may have to wait a few moments for the oil to start heating up. A good way to check on this is to flick some water against the frying pan and you should hear a little fizz. all of your onion into the frying pan and let it cook. You want to make sure that the onion becomes softer and yellow. After a few minutes of frying and stirring the onion until it becomes a bit more cooked, you want to put your mince inside the frying pan as well. If you're just making this for one, about half a pack of mince should do it. Because I was making a couple of meals out of the spaghetti bolognese, I used the whole pack. Once you put it in a frying pan, break it up and give it a good stir. Fill a pan with hot water. And then heat this water on the stove. Once it begins to boil, put in your spaghetti. Don't put it at too high a heat. Once some of the spaghetti has begun to cook, you can knock in the rest of it so all of it is covered in the water.
Keep an eye on the spaghetti whilst you stir in the mince in the other pan. Then open your can of tomatoes. Now, after you mix in your chopped tomatoes, add in your sliced mushrooms. Your tomato puree. Some salt and pepper. And any seasoning you'd like to add. Get everything a good old mix and it should take about five to 10 minutes to become perfect. If you're not sure, you can always give it a taste to see how it's getting along. Make sure to keep an eye on the spaghetti. Once it's nice and soft, drain it using a sieve, getting rid of all the excess water. Once everything is ready, pop the spaghetti into the bowl and then use your mince mixture and place it over the top. Don't forget to add the cheese on top just to make your spag bowl even that more amazing. And there we have it. You've just made some delicious spaghetti bolognese. Enjoy.